We are talking with Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures in Chicago. All right, we saw that the grain markets are starting to slide away here, Oliver. Let's see if the livestock trade is reacting or not. Right now, live cattle still fairly sharply lower. April down 80 cents on the day. We're at 119.20 per hundred weight. Only a nickel from our low of the day. June down 85 cents at 117.57. Hmm, only one tick from its low of the day there and over a dollar off our earlier high this morning. Now, if you look at the feeder cattle market, we currently have the April contract $1.52 lower at 141.05 per hundred weight. And there again, that's over a dollar, actually a buck and a quarter off our earlier high this morning. The May contract down a dollar forty at 143.67. Now on the lean hogs, they started out higher and they're hanging on to gains. We have April up 65 cents. We're at 87.80 per hundred weight. May is 60 higher. Biggest gain would be out in June, and it's 95 cents higher at 95.12 per hundred weight. So still within uh, five dollars of hitting that hundred dollar benchmark. Oliver, let's talk about the uh, cattle market first. Cattle market uh, on the cash trade can't seem to really get anywhere here in the last four weeks or so. So what is it that's weighing on the futures today? Well, I think that's part of it. The cash really hasn't carried its weight. We've been pretty optimistic on live cattle here over the last several months, uh, and we thought that cash would maybe work a little bit higher. Now we're in a new month. April is the, the front month contract, and it's obviously narrowing the basis a little bit. On the technical standpoint, we really like buying into that 119.40 to 119.90 pocket. This is where we broke out from January 22nd. We're breaking a little bit uh, below that. And if we do close below that, that could neutralize our bias. But if we're able to find some footing here throughout today's session and close back out above there, I think we'll be in good shape. Uh, but again, if we close below, that could spur some additional long liquidation. There's not a whole lot of technical support out, uh, until 117.25. And as you had mentioned, the cash market, really hasn't done its job in helping support things. So if we can't get that going, there could be a little bit more pressure here in the very near term. Excellent information. Thank you, Oliver, for joining us today. Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures. He's located in Chicago.